Let's look at identifying chiral configuration with Newman projections. So up until um, stereochemistry, we've been looking at looking down the 2,3 bond, for example, of 2-chlorobutane. So we would circle the bond that we're, that's part of the Newman number of the chain by nomenclature. And now we have to identify that this is actually a chiral center. So the planar structure that we draw with the skeletal doesn't actually exist. What does exist is either an S as we have here or an R configuration about that 2-3 bond. So we've got to figure out which is which and looking at this Newman uh, for, for a novice just getting started with this is not exactly obvious for most people uh, which is which. So let's have a look at this Newman and see if we can't figure out what's going on. So the first thing I want to do is find my chiral center which is the front carbon here, there's my chiral center, bonded to four different things. And so I want to number the groups that are attached, low, uh, highest atomic numbers, the chlorine, and then the back carbon here is a carbon to, to carbon, so it's like this group, and so it gets the two designation. The CH3 gets the three, and then hydrogen here in the front is the lowest priority with an atomic number of uh, one there. And so what we've got to realize is, is that a Newman is really these three bonds coming at us and then the back bond going away from us. And so if we uh, label this as our groups, one, and then we said back was two, and then four, and then three, what we want is for group four to be back, which it's not here. So what we can do is we can say, well, let's change something about our structure and say that it's not the same as what we're changing is not going to be the same as what we started with. And let's move that group four to the back and then leave one and three in place, but exchange two, which was in the back, move it forward. Now we see one, two, and three is counterclockwise with four away from us. We'd call that S, but that's not what we started with because we changed two groups. So the original was R. So this configuration would be R in front here. So that's a little bit um, tricky, but we can figure it out. And then we can say, well, it's actually this configuration. Looks like it's S, but it's R. We could uh, um, equivalently rewrite it like this. One, two, three, four is in the back. And so that is an R configuration. So this and this are the same structure. Okay. Well, what if our chiral center is not in the front? What if it's in the back instead? So if the chiral center is in the back, we've got to remember that okay, this carbon's the chiral center. So we've got an atom in front here, the C to CH3 now. So position two, get a better view here. Position two is now in front um, at the propeller here and position one here, the chlorine, and then the methyl group and the hydrogen. So what the other Newman is, carbon two is in the front, but our back three um, groups are going away from our eye. If we were to hold a model kit up, we would see this. And so we've got one and two is in front here, and then coming at us, and then three is here and then four is here. So we equivalently in a perspective type view are looking straight down the bond between two, between um, our carbons here and the one, four, and three groups are going away from us. And since we've got our perspective lined up, yeah, this looks like one, two, three um, is counterclockwise here. Four is going away from us. And so this is indeed the S enantiomer of two chlorobutane.